We begin tonight with breaking news. Violence erupting at two different schools across the city tonight, leaving two students slashed and one stabbed. Fox 5's Teresa Priolo live in Hell's Kitchen, where one of those incidents took place earlier today. Teresa. Yes, Stephen Natasha, we're told that this all went down as families were arriving for a junior ROTC ceremony. The school was on lockdown, so those families were kept outside while the students had to stay inside. There were several students that were taking an AP test, and next thing you know, all we heard was just full-on yelling in the hallways. What began as an argument in the hallway of the Stephen Mather Building of Arts and Craftsmanship High School turned violent when one student was slashed in the face and another was stabbed in the stomach. Both are under arrest at Bellevue Hospital. I'm just a little shaken up because, like, it's just unexpected. I've never, like, dealt with anything like this before. It's just, like, weird, you know? The incident sending shockwaves through not one but four schools housed on this campus, all going into lockdown as the situation unfolded. Today was my daughter's JRCT meeting show. They had an award today. And guess what? I've been out there for three hours, couldn't get in the building. Sad. We have pre K, we have high schools in there, 11th grade, 10, 12th grades, and younger. The well, children are not safe. The school does not have metal detectors, and it's unclear if this kind of violence is something the students typically encounter. Scary, stressful, and disappointed because yeah. nowadays teenagers like they're acting like they know everything, you know, stabbing anybody for no reason. That's that's very alarming. I think it's very unfortunate that we send our children to school to be safe and it's not a safe environment. The campus has children from kindergarten through high school. Just as alarming, a slashing occurred in Queens about the same time this was unfolding. In that case, an 18-year-old was slashed by a stranger. Police are on the hunt for whoever is responsible. And that 18 year old that was stabbed in Queens, that also happened in front of his high school. That is the Queens High School of Teaching, Liberal Arts, and Sciences. As for this incident here in Hell's Kitchen, Steve and Natasha, we reached out to the DOE. They told us that the safety and well being of the students here is their utmost priority. They also called the behavior unacceptable and said they're providing resources for students here who need it. That's the latest from Hell's Kitchen tonight. Back to you guys in the studio.